welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. So glad you could attend. And yes, I'm down in the Hawaiian today because it's a Psycho Beach Party, man. Yes, we're taking a look at Psycho Beach Party from 2000, starring a lot of probably mostly TV actors, okay? You may recognize one name in there, though, as Amy Adams. Now, they say the road to good deeds can be paved with bad intentions, or is it the road to bad deeds can be paved with good intentions? Anyway, my intention was completely and utterly probably bad, considered by some, in that I heard this movie is a movie where Amy Adams bears her bottom, okay? So that was kind of the uh, reason why it hit my Netflix queue, I fully admit it. Now, what I ended up finding, though, was a decent parody. A parody that poked fun not only at the beach party films that you got from Annette Fudicello and uh, those days, okay, with the big kahuna, right? Uh, but you also get a little bit of tongue-in-cheek parody at the old 60s psychodrama where you have someone who has kind of a, you know, personality issues, and the slasher film, where you get people dying in creatively gory ways. Now, we get the story here of Florence Forrest, played by Lauren Ambrose, who is Chicklet, who wants to get the eye of the guy who travels in his surfer pack with his surfer buddies, okay? And a couple of those buddies, no, they're not gay, they're just very, very close that like to wrestle a lot. <laughs> anyway, when she still can't get his eye, she decides she wants to be a surfer, and she enlists the help of Kanaka, who uh, is played by Thomas Gibson. Yes, Greg from Dharma and Greg, and also in Criminal Minds currently. Well, Kanaka is a little hesitant at first until, well, let's just say a certain part of Chicklet comes out in her personality, and he suddenly decides, oh, hey, you know what? This might not be a bad gig after all. Meanwhile, you've got Amy Adams playing Marvel Ann, who is the popular girl who also wants the guy Chicklet's involved in, and of course, it's Amy Adams playing, she's playing kind of the bad girl's role, so, you know, everybody automatically flocks to her, so Chicklet fights, and while all this is going on with this teen drama, you've got her friends dying in creatively gory ways, and you have her dealing with her split personality. Folks, this film turned out to be a lot better than I, I thought, okay? I went in there thinking I just... We'll watch it till the Amy Adams butt part. And what I ended up finding myself is just kind of chuckling and laughing at all the entertaining bits and shticks they do in here. Now, this is done like a regular movie, though it is a parody to those types of films, like the beach party films and, and, and that. And also a little bit of poking fun at the slasher films. So they got a little bit of everything in there. Uh, all the actors do a fine job with the script they have. There is some humorous dialogue. And especially if you've watched any beach party Party films or any other of those types of films, you will catch the references and I think you'll enjoy it even more. Slasher fan, uh, fans out there, you'll catch like some of the creative ways people die and those make me chuckle, especially the one girl who's in the wheelchair who dies. I know it's sad to say, but it did make me chuckle a little. And uh, they got the surprise twist ending, uh, which wasn't too big of a surprise, but nonetheless, they throw that in there as well because every good slasher film has to have a twist reveal ending. Folks, Psycho Beach Party isn't a phenomenal cinema by any means, but it is an entertaining parody, one of the better ones. It came out in the last 10 years, I would say, and it's definitely worth a watch if you're looking for something a little comical and a little different. While it's not at the level of, say, Rocky Horror Picture Show, it does hold its place as a cult film, and I think you should really check it out. I gave it three stubs, and I think it's worth your time. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep your tickets down.